Rob hanging here. Today we're playing with hybrid uh, flywheel cars. Um, we haven't, I haven't um, developed a car out of this system yet, but this is just what I have so far. We start off with an electric Lego motor, which goes to a large white wheel with a rubber band, to the original gyroscope, which can be bought at almost all Cracker Barrel restaurants in the gift shop, and to another wheel, which gears up to the plate and wheel CVT transmission, which comes out to the output wheel. The transmission is adjustable by a simple screw, and you have to lock it because it drives. It always wants to go to the lowest gear, and the gyroscope does not mount um, firmly to Legos very well, so I have it on float mounts so it can be clutched off from the entire system and let it run by itself. And now we're going to start her up. It takes a bit to start her up because it's just like a 16 to 1 ratio. As you can see, we can come off the motor and keep it driven. Okay, we're going to engage the drive. A little bit chattery. There we go. Now we're going to change the ratio. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> Jumping a lot. There we go. A rubber band can stop this chattering. I just have, don't have one installed yet. And we're come off the electric motor and the gyroscope will drive the system for a good bit of time and electric motor will play catch up so if you're braking down a hill you can charge the gyroscope up and when you're going up a hill you use electric motor and gyroscope and for the next project I'm going to shut this off we're going to be running my newest CVT transmission which consists of the wheel sliding between the two cones This system doesn't work very well. It all does work in real life, but Legos don't like it either. And after that I put a rubber band instead of a wheel and work more like a snowmobile. Anyway, thanks for having me with me.